What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're the Octobers, and today, guys, we're gonna watch House of the Dragon. Finally, we are here. We are here. We had a great time watching Game of Thrones. If you guys missed that, go check the playlist above. It was definitely probably my favorite. Yeah, honestly, think, yeah, probably my favorite. I think the deep rich history that went into that show man all the foresight the world building the history the amount of you know just the the storytelling and the depth of the characters you guys know what i'm talking about if you've seen the show man it was definitely probably the best thing i've ever seen especially right. a tv show we got a lot of movies to watch for sure i definitely have my personal favorite movie that we're gonna get to eventually but i thought for a tv show it was genuinely like a 10 out of 10 phenomenal. yes phenomenal we're gonna jump into this thing exactly like we did game of thrones guys we went into the show not knowing anything about it we didn't take any time to like figure out who was in it or just any of that type of stuff so we're gonna know a lot more about this show because like i said we have watched the entire series but and we've watched lore videos on top of that right but we're gonna go into this one as blind as possible so i know there's a lot of stuff you guys on our community want us to check out and we definitely got that stuff coming and uh, a lot of that stuff will be on Patreon for sure. I'm excited to see the cast. You know, I'm, I'm really nervous because we're fresh off Game of Thrones. You know, yes. we watch 50 First Dates in between. <laughs> and, you know, so this will be a first impression. And usually things have to grow on me, man. I'm just that type of person. So, mm -hmm. like, every time I start a new season of, like, Survivor, for example. I know you guys know I'm a big Survivor fan. The cast always seems so weird at first. But after, like, a couple episodes. You love them all. Yeah, they're the best <laughs> cast of all time. Yeah. So. But, guys, before we get into it, man, we are starting House of Dragons to try to catch up live. So, just like the video, please. Give us all the love you can because we want to for the first time in the history of our channel be live so we can like you know talk about theories and stuff with mm. you guys so i'm really excited about that so let's go let's go the heirs of the dragon as the first century of the targaryen dynasty came to a close the health of the old king jaehaerys was failing no intro huh in those days House Targaryen stood at the height of its strength, with ten adult dragons under its yoke. Ten? In the year 101, the old king called a great council to choose an heir. Oh, they got a vote, huh? Fourteen succession claims were heard. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen, Viserys. the king's eldest male descendant. It is declared by all so those are his kids and nephews or something, right? Yeah, I guess. The succession line got broke because of the death of the sons. You know what they said? Something like that. Rhaenys, a woman, Rhaenys. would not inherit the Iron Throne. The lords instead chose Viserys, my father. For he knew the cold truth. The only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon was itself. Ooh. I like that. Oh, that's an intro. Oh, this is the intro. Okay, let's go. The Targaryen symbol. With three dragon heads. It is now the ninth year of King Viserys, the first Targaryen dream. 172 years before the death of the Mad King Aerys and the birth of his daughter, Princess Daenerys Targaryen. So this is 172 years before Daenerys Targaryen. Let's Thanks go. for highlighting that for us. Appreciate that, that. That's so sad to think, man. God, She's not somewhere even out there, about. yeah. <laughs> in the future, that poor lady's gonna get stabbed by John. By her own doing, but still. Wait. Oh, already. Said. <laughs> they already on them things. I guess it's cool to not have to see them be teenagers and babies. Oh, the dragons. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Look, he didn't have to burn it. I know. She stands. This is some Game of Thrones music. Well, last time we saw a dragon over King's Landing. He done Dracarys the place up. Yeah, he was throwing a tantrum. Oh. Is that the dragon pits? Hey, boss. <laughs> there she goes. That felt like Daenerys hopping off. I in know, it. it really did. Welcome back, princess. Try not to look too relieved, sir. Every time that golden beast brings you back unspoiled, saves my head from a spike. Cyrax is growing quickly. Cyrax. That's almost large enough to settle too. I believe I'm quite content as a spectator. Thank you. <laughs> she said, hell no. <laughs> Get blonde hair. <laughs> crazy <laughs> ass. He said Daharis, which means serve, so it listened. <laughs> Dahario Daharis. <laughs> oh no, never mind. That doesn't mean that. I was about to say, does it? I didn't even know that. <laughs> I thought it was Valar, Valar de Harris, which means it's her. Probably right. <laughs> That's cool, we got dragon statue. 
I love this. It looks so colorful and happy. Whoa. Ain't that crazy? Look at that. No paint job. <gasps> Mapless. Isn't it wild to think that their dragons are going to burn this place down eventually? I know. Oh, they just have no idea. Rhaenyra, you know I don't like you to go flying while I'm in this condition. You don't like me to go flying while you're in any condition. <laughs> Your Grace. Good morrow, Alicent. That was like How brand long? no climbing. <laughs> I don't that was like that. Here you are, surrounded by attendants, all focused on the babe. Someone has to attend you. You will lie in this bed soon enough, Renera. This discomfort is how we serve the realm. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle in glory. <laughs> <laughs> Aria. We have royal wounds, you and I. The child bed is our battlefield. Now take a bath, you stink of dragon. <laughs> <laughs> The king, right? My lords, the growing alliance among the free cities has taken to styling itself the Triarchy. They have massed on Bloodstone and are presently ridding the stepstones of its pirate infestation. A man called Kragas Drehar has styled himself the Prince Admiral of this Triarchy. They call him the Crab Feeder due to his inventive methods of punishing his enemies. Rhaenyra, you're late. King's Cupbearer must not be late. Leaves people wanting for cups. He's visiting mother. On dragon bank? <laughs> they can smell hey, it. Your grace, and <laughs> Let us know what a dragon smells like, guys. I thought you might urge your king. brother to fill his seat on the council and provide an assessment of his progress as commander of the watch. I would urge that you not allow this triarchy much latitude in the stepstones, your grace. If those shipping lanes should fall, it will beggar our ports. The crown has heard your report, Lord Corliss, and takes it under advisement. <laughs> they ignoring him. <laughs> Shall we discuss the heirs' tournament? I would be delighted. <laughs> the maester's name day prediction hold, my lord. He's got a little Baratheon in him, don't he? Mm -hmm. The cost of the tournament is not negligible. Perhaps we might delay until the child is in hand. Before the games are over, my son will be born. We have no way of predicting the sex of the child. Of course, no maester's capable of rendering an opinion free of conditions, are they now? There's a boy in the queen's belly. I know it. And my heir will soon put all of this damnable hand wringing to rest himself. Does my father know his head? No. Good. Oh God's my. Good. It's all right, sir. I'll open the throne with that. all the the swords. It just was that. Spaos <laughs> Mm. Their validity is good, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Ergotis, <laughs> Perion. I bought you something. A little necklace? Do you know what it is? It's Valyrian steel. Oh. My dark sister. Turn around. The costumes in now, this are great. You and I both own a small piece of our ancestry. I when Princess Valeria arrived at dawn, who did she take <laughs> that to man, husband? That's crazy. Let me back this up. I want to hear what she said. That man's face, boy. He, ooh, boy. He scares me. Well, he's just chilling on the throne for no reason. <laughs> when Princess Nymeria arrived in dawn, who did she take to husband? A man. What was his name? Lord something. <laughs> you're always like this when you're worried. Disagreeable. <laughs> you're worried your father is about to overshadow you with a son. I hope for my father that he gets a son. As long as I can recall, it's all he's wanted. You want him to have a son? I want to fly with you on Dragonback, see the great wonders across the narrow sea and eat only cake. <laughs> you aren't worried about your position. I like this position. It's quite comfortable. Where are you going? Home. Oh, look the they way got a yeah. Jeez, Princess Nymeria led her Roinar across the narrow sea on 10,000 ships to flee their Valyrian pursuers. She took Lord Moore's Martell of Dawn to husband to show her people that they were finished worship. running. What are you doing? So you remember. So she's a little if wild child, huh? Book, <laughs> the scepter. <laughs> Rhaenyra. She's a rebel. Is it healing? Oh. It has grown slightly, Your Grace. Mm. We've sent inquiries to the Citadel. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. It's nothing. Oh, it's like a staph infection. I know. We should leech it again, Megan. It's a wound that refuses to heal, Grandmaster. 
Might I suggest cauterization? Cauterization would be a wise cause of treatment, Your Grace. You lie here and all that hurts. It will be painful. Fine. You spend more time in that bath than I do on the throne. This is the only place I can find comfort these days. After this miserable pregnancy, I wouldn't be surprised if I hatched an actual dragon. <laughs> Rhaenyra has already declared that she's to have a sister. She even named her. Dare I ask? Visenya. God be good. <laughs> this family already has its Visenya. Has there been any word from your dear brother? Not since I named him commander of the City Watch. Oh, he's commander of the City Watch, the uncle. You do understand that nothing will cause the babe to grow a cock if it does not already possess one. This child is a boy, Emma. Yeah. I've never been more certain of anything. Aww. The dream. That stress over her. It was clearer than a memory. Our son was born wearing Egon's iron crown. Born wearing a crown. God spare me. <laughs> Birth is unpleasant enough as it is. She said that would double hurt. This is the last time. Viserys, I've lost one babe in the cradle, had two stillbirths and two pregnancies ended well before their term. Ours. That's five in twice as many years. I know it is my duty to provide you an heir, but I've mourned all the dead children I can. Man, that's tough, isn't it? When I took command of the watch, you were stray mongrels. Yeah, remind them. Starving and undisciplined. <laughs> mm hmm They got some nose guards. Now, you're a pack of hounds. He sounds like Daenerys. Sated. <laughs> My brother's city has fallen into squalor. Crime of every breed has been allowed to thrive. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. Aren't they just like the cops? Yeah, the gold And folks. he's like, <laughs> sending him to war? Yeah, he's like the head of the police department. <laughs> what the heck? They're just having that little pregame meeting, that pre shift meeting. They're like, they're like, stop and frisk. Stop and frisk. <laughs> but this is not about to be good. This is like an invasion by your own freaking force. I know, they look like they're charging some people for some reason. Oh, shoot. No, Y'all are out past curfew. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dang. I guess that's a way to bring the crime rate down is to bring the population down. You had to commit total tyranny and become like a communist <laughs> dictatorship. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Get up! His helmet, though, is cool. No lie. Cut off his Johnson? I don't know what that was. Some type of flesh. How do they know? Hey, the state could never be wrong. Ah, dang. It was an unprecedented roundup of criminals of every ilk. Until they needed a two horse car to haul away the resulting dismemberments when it was done. God be good. That's all you got to say. Prince cannot <laughs> be allowed good. to act with this kind of unchecked impunity. Brother? Damon. He's in there. Brother. <laughs> Carry on. You were saying something about my impunity. You are to explain your doings with the City Watch. What? The City Watch is not a sword to be wielded at your whim. They're an extension of the crown. The watch was enforcing the crown's laws. I don't Making a public that. spectacle of wanton brutality is hardly in line with our laws. Nobles from Tell his ass. The realm are right now descending upon King's Landing for my brother's tourney. Do you want them mugged, raped, murdered? Our city should be safe for all its people. I agree. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Time will tell. <laughs> the criminal element should fear the city watch. Thank you for your support, Lord Corliss. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, your grace. She's Cheap not shot. been seen in the Vale or at Runestone for quite some time. Oh, she in, in the Vale? In the Vale, men are said to f sheep instead of women. I can assure you, the sheep are prettier. <laughs> you made <laughs> a vow so before rude. the Seven to honor your wife in marriage. I'd gladly give Lady Rare to you, Lord Hightower, if you're in want of a woman to warm your bed. Your own lady wife passed recently. Ooh. Low blow. Did she not? Otto. Otto. I just think of... <laughs> never mind. You know how my brother makes sport of provoking you. 
Must you indulge him? That's a British name right there, because as an American, that's going to be hard to say. I'm just like Otto. This canceled. Yeah, Otto. but I'm thinking of Otto from Rocket Power. Yeah. Rocket Power. Enforce my laws, but understand, any further performances like last night's will be answered. Understood, Your Grace. The armor's cool, though. He's going to say something slick, ain't he? King's Landing has been in decline since my grandmother passed. This new city watch might be a good thing. So that was like their first night as a city watch. That's what he said. He said no That's more. That's crazy. That was the origin of it. He did that the first night? <laughs> yeah. Damon in there with a the short stroke. <laughs> what troubles you, my prince? You are Damon Targaryen, right of Caraxes, wild of dark sister. The king cannot replace you. She's like Shay. I know many of you have traveled long leagues to be at these games. When I look at the fine knights in these lists, I see a group without equal. And this great day has been made more auspicious by the news that I am happy to share. Queen Emma has begun her labors. Oh. He said the luck of the seven, so why is there a weirwood tree? They just allowed it. Maybe they just had it so if people wanted to pray to it. Maybe they're just being more like open to other people's religions. I don't know. I saw a Bolton flag. Yikes. That was so one sided. You gotta do better than that, homie. A mystery night. Right? No, a coal of the Stormlands. I've never heard of House Cold. I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. Damn. That was a sight at the king, huh? Good fortune to you, cousin. I would gladly take it if I thought I needed it. Oh, those Baratheons. You could have Baratheon's tongue for that. Tongues will not change the successor. Let them wag. So he's like a nice dude, huh? Those drums. This is cool. Stokeworth's daughter. So they're just starting all the drama. He was talking that junk, too. <laughs> what do you know about this Sir Criston Cole, Sam? I'm told Sir Criston is common born son of Lord Dondarrion's steward, but other than that. And the fact that he's just unhorsed both of the Baratheon lads, I really couldn't see. Dang, so the Targaryen gets the drummers. They got the home crowd advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, at the NBA game when they play the music for the home team? Yeah. <laughs> Look. Fancy. A house Targaryen without shoes is first upon them. Oh, it's him. It matches him now. Right, but it's Crazy him. as hell. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but he's creeping me out. I like the like horse's armor. Well, of course that dude's gonna win. The other guy can't even see. <laughs> like, what the hell? Prince Damon Targaryen chooses Sir Gawain Hightower of Old Town, eldest son of the Hand of the King. Oh, wow. So he did it on purpose. Five dragons on the table. <laughs> Draft King. Who is the guy who just bit? I don't know him. How is that fun? I don't really know how much it proves. That was dirty. How can you be allowed to do that? That's, that's disqualification. But it's his home field. Aww. That's awkward too, because they're like friends. The two girls. Oh, it got up. Nicely done, Uncle. Thank you, Princess. Now, I'm fairly certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favor would all but assure it. Don't do it. Oh, that guy didn't like that. Good luck, my Prince. Scenes and make me so nauseous. I know this is crap on the me. infant is in breach, Your Grace. All attempts oh, no. to turn the vapor failed. Do something for her. We've given her as much milk of the poppy as we can without risking the child. She's fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. No. That's what Tyrion. That's what's happened to Tyrion, Emma. right? I'm here. I'm here. He 
He's saying he's always in, so violently, just like in Game of Thrones or the Mountain. Remember? Day grows ugly. I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. <laughs> With bloody violence. Right. These knights are as green as summer grass. None have known real war. Are these not crimes? Ooh. Ooh. Melos. This poor lady. Your grace. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. To sacrifice one or to lose them both. That's not really a choice, there though, is it? There is a chance that we can save the child, but the resulting blood loss... Seven house medals. Oh, no. You can save the child. We must either act now or leave it with the gods. But he said they're definitely both going to die, though, right? He said you have to sacrifice one or the other or they both die. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I thought he was saying that she wasn't going to make it regardless, but they could still possibly save the baby. He should be disqualified. Who, Damon? Yeah, because he hit that person's You know, the horse. only reason I can remember his name is because I know a dude named Damien. <laughs> He's a shady individual. Reminds me of this guy. This guy. Oh. Going to bring the babe out now. Ouch. Man, she was one away. I love you. Oh, who's happening? No, it's all right. Oh, so she don't know that she's about to die. No, it's all right. Oh! No, it's all right. Please. It's all right. No, I'm scared. Nothing. Don't be scared. Oh, no. Don't be scared. They're going to break the paper. No! Oh my gosh. No! First incision. No, no, no! No, no, no! no, no. Don't be scared. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Damn. 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 Sword. Well, I guess he's allowed because it's his like tournament. Are they for real trying to kill each other? It appears that way. Oh no. It's such an impossible choice, though, because it's not as simple as the kid or the wife, man. It's for the whole realm, right? Yeah, like it's tough. It's just a tough world. Jeez. Mm. Mm. Quasimodo done one. So the baby came out, it was, it was born. Is it a boy? Ah, uh, I don't know, oh. Ah. Oh. Too much showboating. Right, he mountained his ass. Mm -hmm. Kill him. Sorry. <laughs> That's my bias is coming out. I don't like that guy. Why? Him? I mean, he, other than he's a very brutal police officer. He looks like a serpent. Oh no. Oh, she don't even know she's at this thing, so. I was hoping to ask for the princess's favor. Oh, she locked, so Kristen. What are those little things? I know you put them on your jousty things, but what is it? A reef? Kind of like when you're in school and you can go buy them uh, suckers for Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> you just give them out. Congratulations, your grace. You have a son. Oh my gosh. It's a boy. A new heir, your grace. Had you and the queen chosen a name? Balon. Balon? I feel like I should know him. Well, that was really dark. Right, it really was. <gasps> hmm. Oh, 
the baby. Oh no. So he lost both. They're waiting for you. Oh. You notice how when she said it, it sounded different? Yeah. And there's like Dracarys. Because she's like got that like Americanized version. Well, she, I think they're just like 170 years closer to their yeah. Valyrian roots. Right? I know. I'm just saying she like had to basically like learn it from people who weren't Targaryen. Yeah. Those little balls are really Where's cool. Renera? Your Grace, this is the last thing any of us wish to discuss at this dark hour, but I consider the matter urgent. What matter? That of your succession. These recent tragedies have left you without an obvious heir. The King has an heir, my Lord has. Despite how difficult this time is, Your Grace, I feel it important the succession be firmly in place for the stability of the realm. The succession is already Damon, set. Shall we say his name? Damon Targaryen. If Daemon were to remain the uncontested heir, it could destabilize the realm. The realm? Or this council? No one here can know what Daemon would do were he king, but no one can doubt his ambition. Basically, he's wiling. The city watches fiercely loyal to him. An army 2,000 strong. An army you gave him, Otto. I named Daemon Master of Laws, but you said he was a tyrant. As Master of Coin, you said he was a spendthrift that would beggar the realm. He Putting just Daemon in command <laughs> of the city watch was your solution? A half measure, your grace. The truth is, Damon should be far away from this court. Damon is my brother, my blood, and he will have his place at my court. But if the gods should visit some further tragedy on you, either by design or design? accident... My brother would murder me. Take my crown. Are yeah. you? Please. Dang, he's watching? Damon has ambition, yes, but not for the throne. He lacks the patience for it. Under such circumstances, it would not be an aberration for the king to name a successor. Well, who else would have a claim? The king's firstborn child. Rhaenyra. A girl. No queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. Daemon would be a second Magor, or worse. It is the duty of this council to protect the king and the realm from him. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. You wouldn't have to, Your Grace. There are others who would have a claim. <laughs> Such as your wife, Lord Corlys, or the queen who never was. Rhaenys was the only child of Jaehaerys' eldest son, and she already has a male Just heir. Just moments ago, you announced your support for David. If we cannot agree on an heir, then how can we expect a ransom? My wife and son are dead! Right. That's what I was thinking, too. He just was like, sit here that just happened. I will suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses! Yeah, but somebody could kill you tonight. True yeah. that too. But give him a sec. But they're discussing is important. Tell him to write it down in a jar and give well, him a sec. The thing that irritates me is why are they just now considering this? Like someone could assassinate your whole family, Gene. Well, I think it was, was supposed to be Damon, but they're trying to say Damon's not Damon's good. Damon's violent, yeah. Yeah, Damon is like scary. And the king's so dumb. He's like, he would never kill me. Yeah, he would, bro. Cut your throat in a second, I'm sure. I haven't so got like that vibe thought. from him. Straight away. But crazy, yes. The whole point is men will do anything for absolute power, though. That's the lesson. My darling. His darling. How's Rhaenyra? She lost her mother. The queen was well loved by all. I found myself thinking of your own mother today. Oh, that's, that's his daughter? How is his grace? Very low, which is why I sent for you. I thought you might go to him, offer him comfort. In his chambers? I wouldn't know what to say. Stop that. You'll be glad of a visitor. You might wear one of your mother's dresses. That's pretty gross, bro. I hope the mother wore turtlenecks. Mm -hmm. I hope she dressed like you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like how that guy has chains, like, like, it looks like Maester chains, but smaller. Mm -hmm. That looks cool. And he's the hand. I don't know if that represents something, but it's really cool. It was forged from Dragon's Breath. She was wearing that. The Lady Alison Hightower, Your Grace. What is it, Alison? I thought I might come and look in on you, Your Grace. I brought a book. It's very kind. Thank you. It's like that guy on Prison Break. It's the a warden. favorite of mine. I do know how passionate you are for the histories. What is he sculpting? Maybe was that Dragonstone? Yes. Or did it just I look know. like it? I can't tell. 
What is that? I mean, by that, yeah, it looks like dragon saying, stone. But it looks different. Like bigger. Like a lot bigger. We'll probably figure out. When my mother died, people only ever spoke to me in riddles. All I wanted was for someone to say that they were sorry for what happened to me. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. So this guy's just chilling there. That's where he just goes to relax and think about things. So he looks like he's writing or something. I feel like I'd be getting splashed with too many liquids up in there. <laughs> I feel like I have to get out. King Solaire once again. Might we drink to our future? Quiet! Your prince will speak! Silence! He's about to have a speech in there. Your Grace, I have a report I feel compelled to share. Last night, Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses on the Street of Silk. King and Council have long rued my position as next in line for the throne. But dream and pray as they all might, it seems I'm not so easily Like, replaced. what the heck? <laughs> he toasted Prince Balon, the King's son, styling him the heir for a day. Publicly in front of everyone? Why? Like mocking? Trolling? The evening was by all accounts a celebration. You cut the image of the conqueror, brother. Did you say it? I don't know what you mean. You will address me as your grace or I will have my king's guard cut out your tongue. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the heir for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way, your grace. What kind of answer? has just been destroyed. But instead of being by my side or near us, you chose to celebrate your own rise, laughing with your and your leg spittles. Leg spittles? Oh, no. I was like, what a what? piece of... You have no allies at court but me. I have only ever defended you. Yet everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. You've only ever tried to send me away to the Vale, to the City Watch. Cut his tongue out. Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Because I'm your brother, and the blood of the dragon runs thick. Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. An unwavering and loyal hand. Like you're not, though. He doesn't protect you. I would. From what? Yourself. You're weak, Viserys. And that council of leeches knows it. They all prey on you for their own ends. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. Not anymore. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. Demoted. And you are to do so without quarrel, by order of your king. Your grace. So this is the beginning of the civil war. Internally. Remember at the beginning of the show? He said it can only be destroyed from the inside. Two brothers going to battle like Cain and Abel over here. That's scary. Oh, cut himself on it. Those were not properly sanitized. That's why I know that. That's scary. I can get one of my stewards to come in there with some of that that P80 sandpaper and sand that down. <laughs> Such a Targaryen. I know, just playing with fire whenever you want. Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before the doom. The scorpion tester. Mm -hmm. Cersei shot him. Mm -hmm. Can I pause it? Baby, he said Valyrian was the last living creature to have seen Old Valyria before the Doom. Remember in the history of war, Old Valyria is where Targaryens came from? Right, and then when the Doom happened, they had to like go to Dragonstone? And the Doom was like a like a cataclysm or something. I don't really remember, but there right, was some yeah, type it was of like catastrophe. Right, yeah, it was like the apocalypse, yeah. And then they went and settled in Dragonstone. To survive it or whatever. And they stayed in Dragonstone until, who was it, Balon the Conqueror? Aegon. Aegon the Conqueror. But that was 100 years before this even. Right, I think it was like 300 years ago when Aegon Targaryen. From Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. And then this is a hunt. Yeah, so it was like 300. Guys, we could be wrong, man. Let me know if we're getting any of the stuff wrong. But this is why those Game of Thrones history and wars really paid off, man. Go watch those because I, I seriously, I don't think I would have picked that up from just watching Game of Thrones. Maybe I would have. No, we wouldn't even cared about this dragon at all. These names were so new to me, like Stuart, Hand of the King, stuff like that, that I didn't even understand what they were, or what the positions were. Right, so we have a little up on this one. Yeah, I'm able to pay attention to the politics more. Yeah, than I was it, it's nice because you series. don't have to understand the world a little bit. We right. already kind of know it. Was Cersei the first queen in Westeros or no? I think so. So that means this lady's not going to be queen or she is. I don't know. I don't know. When you look at the dragons, what do you see? You haven't spoken a word to me since Mother's funeral. And now you've seen your king's guard down. Answer me. I suppose I see us. Tell me. 
Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men, but they say that because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. The idea that we control the dragons is an illusion. They're a power man should never have trifled with. One that brought Valeria its doom. If we don't mind our own histories, it will do the same to us. Targaryen mm. must understand this to be king or queen. Okay. Well, promotion. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't want to be queen. She just I'm wants to sorry, eat her cake. Mira. I'm sorry. I have wasted the years since you were born. One thing for a son. Hmm. Well, at least she's like the cupbearer, so she's been sitting in. You are the best of your mother. Damon is your heir. Damon was not made to wear the crown, but I believe that you were. I, Corlys Velaryon, promise to be faithful to King Viserys and his named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. Oh, that guy's going to be pissed because his wife has like a claim in a sense. Maybe, or maybe she wants that to happen. Well, when he said queen for a day or something like that, or the queen that wasn't, she looked like pleased by that. Dragon saddle is one thing, but the Iron Throne is the most dangerous seat in the realm. I, Lord Hobart Hightower, promise to be faithful to King Viserys and his named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. Why is it got a long neck the like that? Gods and the Give me a head. Got one right there. Maybe it's half like Maracas or something. I, Orban Baratheon. He didn't really look like he wanted to, did he? Mm -mm. Our histories. They tell us that Egon looked across the Blackwater from Dragonstone, saw a rich land ripe for the capture. But ambition alone is not what drove him to conquest. It was a dream. Egon foresaw the end of the world of men. It is to begin with a terrible winter. Egon I'm saw absolute darkness riding on those winds. And whatever dwells within will destroy the world of the living. When this great winter comes, Runira, all of Westeros must stand against it. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. A king or queen. Strong enough to unite the realm against the cold. Whoa. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. Double whoa. But is that real or is that propaganda? It's secret. I don't know. Yo, it's been passed from king to heir since Aegon's time. Now you must promise to carry it. Promise me this, Rhaenyra. Promise me. I, Viserys Targaryen, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, skinny. and protector of the realm, do hear my name, Rhaenyra Targaryen, Princess of Dragonstone, and heir to the Iron Throne. She looked a little stressed out, didn't she? Right. Well, she obviously isn't ready. Wow. Because he said he was sorry. He's been waiting to have a son instead of training her. All right, guys. So that was House of the Dragon. Season one, episode one. Babe, what do you think? I thought if you're looking at it from a visual standpoint and all that, it's fantastic. I love. Oh, yeah. I love how different it is. Like, um, it's brighter. And I think it's kind of portraying maybe that the King's Landing and all of that or everywhere is doing like better. So I think like they're actually in a prosperous times. Well, maybe? the sorry to interrupt you. The one who named king viserys king his what was it his granddad or his uncle or something like his grandpa or something i think that's what it was they said that under his reign it was prosperous and peaceful right you yeah know what they said okay i thought i heard that right and then and in then, my mind there's not a such thing as a prosperous prosperous peaceful targaryen i sort of had a really negative image of them the whole time we were watching game of thrones like they were kind of tyrants right but you know we got to see daenerys and she was like kind of just the only targaryen really besides john mm -hmm. so seeing all of them at once you kind of can understand them a little more and it seems like their family feels like they really have to carry it on through their family like their yeah. family seems like the whole flip of coin thing to me just seems scary because so in my mind it's really hard to imagine the peaceful times when they're such terrible times because right. they seem to contrast so they're I guess all good like or all the bad. scary one i get you know when he says right. when when vera said you flip a coin it's either a good targaryen or a bad one yeah i feel like maybe rhaenyra is a good one and damon's a bad one so guys we started this story out man basically Viserys won the crown. His sister did not. She ended up dating another guy who... Marrying a pirate guy. He's like a pirate guy, so... Because at the beginning, he was, like, caring about ships and stuff. And I don't know what he is or what his title is. I don't know. He, they just have... I just know their house has dreadlock, so it reminds right. me of, like, pirates. Right. So she was the queen who wasn't, and the realm's sort of at a weird spot right now. They need a line of secession, but the king only has one daughter... His brother's technically the rightful heir. There's also another maybe rightful heir, which would be his sister. I'm not sure which one would technically be the rightful heir, but the kingdom's gonna be divided if there's like a female in charge, which, you know, 
given the history and the circumstances, I can understand why a lot of people wouldn't want that. So, so they're kind of torn between like someone who's bad and someone who's a girl. <laughs> well, not only is she a girl, she's just a young, yeah, a young girl, girl. And yes. she seems to not really. She, she doesn't eat cake. <laughs> yeah, she just wants to eat cake. She also likes to ride her dragons because everywhere she comes in, people are like, you smell like dragon. And you could tell the dad was kind of like, you smell like dragon. And as in like, that's cute and all, but we need to get to work here. She's living a very luxurious life. She gets to ride dragons. She gets respect. All the boys like her. So she gets all the benefits of this, you know, royal family that she's in, but she doesn't really want to, it don't really seem like she wants to do much to like help. <laughs> you know what I right, mean? Well, I mean? She's I mean, young. But I mean, she's the cupbearer and stuff at the councils, but I feel like he, he even apologized in the crypt or whatever with the, the big dragon head. He said he was sorry for not really training her. So I think from this point on, it will be training her. Right. But it seemed like to me she was okay with that because i mean i wouldn't want to be king who would right right but then when he told her that, like a, a targaryen has to like help people through like the end of time mm -hmm. like i feel like maybe so that, you're saying that it's, i'm sorry to interrupt you but was that saying that a targaryen has to sit on the throne it's a, yeah to you read to unite the people because the white walkers are coming yeah i don't know coming. why exactly maybe someone can explain that why a targaryen but that's just what he believes because he said aegon saw it mm -hmm. i don't know Right. Um, so that part was crazy. Then we meet Damon, who is the first commander of the Night's Watch. Not the Night's Watch. The uh, City Watch. The City Watch. Yeah. And I guess he was the first one. Yeah. So he was the first leader of the Gold Cloaks, and they started out very brutal. So um, they're always a little brutal, even 170 years later. So I don't really know what's going to change there. And it seems like the show is telling us that there's about to be an internal strife with the Targaryen family. And it just seems a lot of it has to do with like succession. Like right. they're having the last two generations have had struggles with succession because their male heirs, there's something going on with them not having their own male heir. And I guess obviously the way it ends is the Mad King gets killed by Jamie Lannister. And then yeah. the last Targaryens have to flee back to, where do they go? Uh, Essos, essentially. They went somewhere in Essos. So great start to the series. I really like it. I think that there's a lot of complicated relationships in this. Um, uh -huh. So far, man, I can't stand the uncle, Damon. Yeah. I don't know if it's because it's the way he looks, the way he talks. Well, I, I feel no like idea. he's just supposed to be a really rebellious. Like, he's kind of like, they want him to be one way, but he's not. And he also, like, just feels he's like... He's just obnoxiously I feel immature. like he feels entitled because he's Targaryen. Because he feels like, oh, I should have been the hand because I'm your brother. I should have done this because I'm your brother. Like... Which makes me wonder, like, do people actually really think that way? Or is that just... Like, what is that? I mean, on some level, you got to have enough self-awareness if you're the king to re recognize that, like, even your hand might kill you. You know, like there has to be a level of appreciation and respect that you have with other people because ultimately it's not personal. Your, your brother is not going to kill you because he's your brother. He's going to kill you because he wants your position. So I think it kind of gets on my nerves. Like this king is sort of getting on my nerves in that sense. He is a weak king, I think. He just right. seems like he wants people to like enjoy themselves and he's just kind of like, oh, I want everything to continue to be peaceful and prosperous. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, like because in the very first scene, that guy's telling him that some crazy junk's happening and he's just like, okay, wh what about the tournament? <laughs> like, I don't really care about this drama. Right. I want to yeah, get that. Yeah, that was funny. The tournament is what I'm worried about. And then the guy, the guy, um, dang, I, I need to know, I need to know his name, but the black dude with the dreads, he was saying about the crab feeder and how a he crab was saying eater, there's a crab eater or something. Yeah, he said, I don't know what he was saying, but he was saying something politically was happening across way that they need to be aware of and he he has they just to shut him up and basically. He, he's like a pirate or he does shipping or something like that so it's important to him and the king just wasn't trying to hear him so well if he's like a pirate and he's sitting at the thing he's probably a master of the ships and they were who was the master of the ships in game of thrones um who was it what was it Euron? yeah didn't they name him master of ships yeah eventually? yeah yeah but who was it before i don't know man who was it before it was a a Greyjoy of some kind, I'd imagine. Right. Well, I don't know. Let us know. Well, anyways, the Greyjoys we didn't even see, which was crazy. But maybe they're the ones who are also with, like, they're the pirates in in exchange for the Greyjoys. Like, maybe we did see the that house in Game of Thrones, but they were just a small part. I don't remember. And then you have the Hand of the King. Uh, I really like his character, even though he did something really weird with his daughter. But yeah, I try not to. I try not to judge too much, man. But golly, that's gross. But he basically pimps his daughter out. But in a sense, in a way, it's because. In his mind, they need an heir or something. And I thought needs... it was, I, I wasn't sure. I was torn between, was it political or was it because he genuinely cares about the guy? He's giving me Varys vibes. I could be completely wrong because, you he's, know. He's just sneaky. 
Well, no, he's giving me Varys vibes because it seems like he's looking out for the realm. Like, oh, because he doesn't want Damon. Yeah, he's, he's really there, against Damon. He's sitting there basically sacrificing his position because he's trying to tell the brother, like, not only is someone not looking out for your interests, your own brother, your blood. Right. And with Targaryen, the word blood means so much more than it would mean right. to just your average person. So, so in you a think, sense, does he think like the, everyone would reject Rhaenyra? You think because she's a girl? Well, I think that he thinks that. I don't know, man. I don't know how the show is going to turn out, but I feel like, I mean, they've made it a pretty big deal. This whole show is laced with girls can't be rulers and girls are shunned upon and all that. So, I mean, it sort of seems like to me, a lot of people might accept her because she's a Targaryen, but I don't think people are going to love it. Right. You know, because I mean, at the very, the very first scene of the show was them rejecting a woman queen. Mm -hmm. So, like, they got to pick between the two, and they definitely picked him. But I can also understand why they would reject Rhaenyra, but I also understand in lines of succession and I can she would be the heir. And I can understand if you're the Targaryens and you feel like you have a complete monopoly on power in the world, why would you change things? Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, why would you want to just start changing things? So I can understand that point. But he was chosen on an election, so it's weird for him, too, because he wasn't really, like, a son to anybody either. So I can kind of see why it's maybe different for. In his I feel like in my mind that would make my claim. More well, he was. That's why he saved. That's head. why he killed his wife to save what he thought was going to be his heir. That's such a hard. That's such yeah. a hard thing right there, man. And then the, what sucks is the baby didn't live anyways. Yeah. And it sucks, but ultimately it's just because they just need an heir. I feel like the way to what the the problem is the way to continue peace and prosperity is through a male heir. Anything other than a male heir is gonna cost internal strife. Oh, let's put these in here. And there's really no way to get around that. So it's not about like Right. And you, it's, you that's can, really what it is. You can see in like the Baratheons and you can even see in the Stark guy's face that they were unsure of what they were doing before they did it. They were like Kind of had like it was it, it was an uneasy face in my opinion. Maybe not everybody's, but in my opinion, it didn't seem like they were just a quickly kneeling. It was like kind of like they were like, you know, they were doing it for Viserys because he's peaceful. Well, like, I'm trying to be consistent peace. about the king because like I didn't like Joffrey, I didn't like Tommen, I didn't like you know. I guess Robert, I didn't really like Robert Brat. I liked his character, you know, but I didn't like Robert Brathian. You need a nice, strong king who's going to protect the realm, and he's going to step up and do the right thing and, and not sit there and like a John Snow kind of guy. You know, we th that's the problem with the king, man. Everybody wants to like name the perfect ruler, the leader, but man, there's not a lot of options. So right, that is true. Uh, I guess the three-eyed entity known as Bran, I guess, was the best decision. <laughs> yeah. I really like the episode, man. I love the politics of it. I think it's very, it's very interesting, man, because like the sexism aside, like what happens when you just don't have a male heir? Like, you know, this is just what happens. So it's going to be very interesting to see how she steps up. In her mind, she wasn't prepared to have to take this role because the idea of a female leader was just so unprecedented that how could she be ready for it? Right. But hopefully she does a good job. Right. It was it was also interesting because at the beginning, I kind of thought the Han's daughter was just like Rhaenyra's maiden because she was get, like quizzing her on stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was really shocked to see that. But that's also interesting to see how that's going to play out. Like, was that calculated or was he just being a good guy to the king? I don't really know. Well, I guess in there, they have the luxury of pretty much letting a lot of people be king slash queen because they have dragons. Yeah. So like, if you don't have dragons, like I think about the Lannisters, right? Well, when Tywin died, their family died. Mm -hmm. And it was all because like one strong leader with a lot of military background and a lot of knowledge about these types of subjects kept the house together. But what's keeping this house together is their dragons. So right. it's just going to be interesting. And it was interesting out. when he said, when he asked her, what did she think of the dragons? And he said that the fact that they have power over them is an illusion. So I think that that was interesting because in Game of Thrones, it kind of seemed like Daenerys was charging her, was in charge of her dragons. She right. could tell them when to do what. But it seems to me like he said that he even said that it's an illusion and they were the reason for the first doom. So the dragons. Were? Yeah, that's yeah. what he said. So I don't know wh how that exactly happens. They maybe turn on them. I don't know. It's kind of like electricity. We like to think we're in charge of like the power grid and the power lines. And but not really, man, that stuff controls us. It's just one of those things. I really like the politics of it. I think it's really interesting that the king keeps getting cut on the throne. Right. He keeps getting cut. And I guess he's getting some type of staph infection. The throne is gross. It's been around for forever. They don't have tetanus shots right. there. And he's just getting infections. And uh, the Mad King was the king with scab. Think that what you said? What? Wasn't the original Mad King covered in scabs from getting cut on the throne I or think, something? I think that's what the lore told us. So, well, it makes sense. If you're going to sit on a throne made of swords, you're going to get cut. I thought it was interesting 
how I didn't even notice at first, but the throne was so much bigger right. and more grand. Yeah, and it had like you remember um I remember Littlefinger and Varys were saying like there's only two hundred something swords. But in that one, there's definitely way more than that. There was at least a thousand. There yeah. For sure. So so whenever they were saying in the Game of Thrones time, oh, they say there's thousands, but there's only two hundred. There genuinely really was thousands at one point. Right. It just as time went on, they've like taken away from that. Yeah. Uh, maybe too many kings got cut. <laughs> yeah, man. Basically, uh, the wife died, which was the definitely the saddest part oh my of gosh, the show. That was yeah. really horrific to see. And the baby passed away. So we're left without an heir, man. And But we we never got to see um, in all of Game of Thrones, which I'm sorry I keep bringing Game of Thrones up, but we never got to see a true Targaryen um, funeral. So seeing that was interesting. Like they have their dragon. I don't know if it was the lady's dragon or whose dragon that was. Was it Rhaenyra's dragon because it's golden? Sure. Okay, well, I don't know. She, anyways, in the beginning, Rhaenyra's riding a golden dragon. I don't know if that was hers or whatever, but she told the she told it to Dracarys, and I thought that was interesting. She said, Dracarys. Yeah. Yeah, the way she said it was cool. <laughs> it just goes to show that they're a lot closer to, like... Their Valerianness. Yeah, because they used to speak a different tongue, and so it's just interesting to see. That's why the show's great, man. It's all those details. Yeah, the, the details are everything. So, honestly, when she was just speaking the Valerian to Damon, it was like kind of maybe they didn't want anyone else to know what they were talking about, or they were just like showing their Targaryenness through that. I don't really know, but either way, just details like that, we're picking up on them. We just aren't always commenting. Yeah, because we already talk enough as it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next one. Yeah. The Rogue Prince. What will she do? What will she do? I mean, if she's good, I mean, I'm not. <gasps> The music. I understand that being a good person doesn't necessarily make you a good king or anything, you know, but if she has a good soul, then she'll probably be a good leader because she seems to be not much in between, huh? Right. I'm just amazed that there's blood. This is insane. Holy. Huh, what is this? I don't know what I'm looking at, guys. <laughs> I know we're blood. looking at blood trails looking like, gee, I don't know, blood in the city. This is sick. I feel disappointed in me because I'm dumb. I'm missing something. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to know what this is, but I don't know what it is. See, like, I'm expecting that to be a sigil, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> we just went through a blood fall. That's a sigil. Oh, I get my twingle twangles, baby. Let's go. <laughs> that's kind of sick, guys. I love that we got to keep the song. I, I kind of wanted a different song. Oh, that's the crab eater. Ooh. Oh. oh, he's still alive. He said all them crab buffets. How the tables turn, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always watching that. So Ryan was a strong lord commander of the King's Guard. He passed in peace, I hope. Yes, your grace. Who was it? Uh, I guess a King's Guard commander, I see he said. A lord commander of the King's Guard. Oh, that's what the bells. King's Guard must soon be restored to its full complement of seven. With the help of the hand, I've invited a number of fine candidates to court. He sounds Irish. What's been tragic lately around here? Four ships have now been lost. The last one was flying my banner. The step tons have now grown into a conflagration, yet you sit here and dither about court business. If you've something to discuss, Lord Lewis. I want to know what is to be done about my ships and my men. The Crown will compensate you for your ship and crew and make an offering to the Notice how he talks to the king. Want compensation. I want to seize the Stepstones by force. I am not prepared to start a war with the Free Cities. These pirates oh. are not the Free Cities. In all of its history, my lord, the Seven Kingdoms have never entered open war with the Free Cities. What reason does the Crab Feeder have to fear us? Dragon the King's maybe? own brother has been allowed to seize Dragonstone and fortify it with an army of his gold cloaks. Damon has squatted there for over half a year without even a protest from the crown. I'll caution you, Lord Corliss. A seat at the king's table does not make you his equal. Well, he's stressed. I have acted, Corliss. I've sent ten boys to Pentos and Volantis to see if we might find common cause. Come Ships come. and men are at the ready. You have dragon riders, father. But that's the cupbearer speaking. Oh, but the next in line. <laughs> Send us. That girl said, I'm ready to go to war. It isn't that simple. It would be a show of force. Well, at least the princess has a plan. I only meant that we should at least... Perhaps uh, there's some better use for the princess's talents. Why don't you take the princess to see about the new King's Guard posting, Lord Commander? A fine idea, Your Grace. Dang, good this idea, Lord Rhaenyra. protect you as well. You should choose. It's definitely the most 
you know, go-to choice, isn't it? Like, we got dragons, baby. <laughs> you know, like, obvious. Like, we got dragons. I ain't worried about no crabs. He's like, but what if you die right there? She ain't worried about a crab. No, they're going to overcook them crabs. Dragons are <laughs> a bad idea. Step forward, Sir Desmond. Son of Sir Royce Caron, Sir Desmond has proved strong and steady while traveling through the King's Wood on his way to King's Landing. Sir Desmond recently brought a would-be poacher to justice. <laughs> it's like auditions or something. <laughs> you might thank him for his leal service, Princess. We thank you for your loyal service to the Crown, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Raymond Malister. Sir Raymond was knighted at eight and ten. Do any of these knights have combat experience? Sir Kristen Cole. There's your winner. I know the one that, the one that she was eyeing at the little tournament. Son of the steward of the Lord of Blackhaven. The Dornish Debbie cake over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> Sir Kristen. <laughs> You saw combat in the Stormlands. Dornish marches, Princess. I fought for a year as a foot soldier against the Dornish incursions. I choose Sir Kristen Cole. But he should Let's <laughs> not be too Didn't hasty. he almost get his butt whooped Princess. by the uncle or vice versa? Yeah, but he's kind of no tough, right? Sir <laughs> Kristen is a fine warrior, but houses such as Crickle and Malister are important allies of the crown. My father should be defended by a man who's no real combat. Should he not? Honestly, yeah. Of course, Princess. But he just wants to do it for some allies. I mean, they are important. I mean, yeah, it is important to have allies. The red keep crumbled on the Lannister's head. The Valyrian capital was built into a volcano, much like Dragonstone. And the Dragon Lords, the highest of the nobility, lived here at the volcanic face, oh. closest to the source of their magic and power. Do you believe the Stone. Westeros can be another Valyria, Your Grace? Well, it depends whether you speak of the Freehold at its height or at its fall. Over a thousand dragons. A navy large enough to span the seas of the world. The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. Seven hills. Allow me, my grace. <laughs> I like her earrings. Tell me, how is Rhaenyra? What do you mean? Well, these days she doesn't say more than a few words to me. I think she might find it difficult to discuss personal matters. It will take time. It did when I lost my own mother. I wish she would approach me. What if you went to her? There are times when I would rather face the Black Dread himself than mine own daughter of 15. <laughs> you do not mention our talks to Rhaenyra, do you? That makes it sketchy now. I fear that she wouldn't understand them. No, your grace. I mean, that's a little complicated, right? Right. It's only been half a year since my mother died. And already they tried to marry my father off and replace me as heir. You cannot worry at the matters of lords and kings, Rhaenyra. What if your father were to remarry? Uh-oh mother-daughter talk <laughs> your father loves you how do you know he chose you for his heir Maybe. he didn't choose me he spurned Damon. what is this tradition though we did not see this before i think that's where they pray to the seven but the mini candles i find this is a way to be with my mother i know it sounds foolish i don't think it's foolish because i thought you might try if not for me then perhaps for them What do I say? Whatever you wish. It's only for you and the gods to know. Aw, that's like kind of sweet. <sighs> I want him to see me as more than his little girl. My own father does not know the language of girls either. When I wish to talk with him, I know that I must make the effort. Thank you. That's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, huh? I know. I'm glad we could meet. I know tempers ran hot today, but I wanted to assure you how much I value the bond between our houses. Rhaenys is my favorite cousin, after all. <laughs> oh, it's I cousin, not sister. Okay. for the tenor at the small council today, Your Grace. As king, it is my obligation to avoid war until such time it is unavoidable. None among us desire open war. Might I speak plainly, Your Grace? I always welcome the unfettered thoughts of my council. The queen has passed. A girl has been named heir to the Iron Throne, the first in its history. The king's brother, so disinherited, has claimed the Targaryen seat on Dragonstone without challenge. And now a foreign power has established a colony in our most critical shipping lane. You paint such an aspirant portrait of my reign, Macaulay. It is an honest one, cousin. At the moment, the crown is perceived as being vulnerable. 
To elude a storm, you can either sail into it or around it, but you must never await its coming. Do you have a specific course of action to propose? Join our families. Wed our daughter, Lena. With the Targaryen dragons and the Valarian fleet bound in blood, you can show the realm that the crown's strongest days are ahead, not behind. Convenient, huh? Right. He has a good I point. I must admit, I haven't given marriage much thought. So the realm expects you to take a new wife sooner or later, Grace. Marriage it's interesting she gets a word, right? Mm -hmm. Like there, she's in on this convo right here. Because she's not on the council. I mean, she's just his cousin. Like, it's just interesting that they're letting a woman speak. It, it wasn't like that in Game of Thrones. We haven't spoken much since. A regret of mine. We should be free to speak our minds to one another. I loved your mother very much. As did I. Sir Harold provided a fine field of tawny knights. Oh? But in questioning them, I discovered that Sir Criston was the only man among them with true battle experience. You will make a fine knight of the King's Guard. Today at small council. Pay it no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. You're young. But... You will learn. Uh. Mm. Oh, some maggots too. Um. Uh. Yeah, we see that back in the day. Just Are they kidding. better put that on his cut? For all my extremely literal mm. people This is our best chance just... to save the digit. The maggots will remove the dead flesh and hopefully uh -huh. stop the advance of the rot. He has to dip his hand in maggots at night. <laughs> I held an audience earlier today with Lord Corlys and Princess Rhaenys. He proposed a marriage. To whom? Your Grace? The Lady Lena. To combine the strength of our houses and demonstrate my reign's strongest days are ahead, not behind. Lord Corlys has overreached, Your Grace. Such matters must be discussed with a small council. That is what I'm doing. What is your advice, dear Otto? The Lady Lena is young, Your Grace. A match with their daughter would go a long way towards sealing the breach. The Grand Maester's reasoning is sound. I do fear what Rhaenyra might think. What does it matter, Your Grace? Her mother has passed. Her father must propagate the royal line. They talk to him however they want. I know. They won't be talking I, uh, to Joffrey like that. I know. dearly loved my own lady wife. The pain of her passing still haunts me. And to be compelled to replace her for duty's sake you are the king, but I do not envy you. All right, it's duty. So I like the hand of the king, right? Because in my mind, I'm thinking he's scared of Damon early on. So he offers up his daughter because he's trying to do what's right for the realm in a sense. And he understands that like they need to produce a male because that'd be the path with the least resistance. Right. But now they're offering a solution that seems like it'd be good for the realm. But the wife's too young. But he's like, nah, I've sort of got my mind made up that I kind of want my daughter to be queen at this point. You Did think? you catch that? I it seemed know. like that. So I don't really know what that dude's intentions are. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't he know if so he's sincere. I don't know if he's sincere or if he's playing the game. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because we don't really know him quite yet. But yeah, I, I just noticed that. Cause. His intentions might be good for all I know, but they might not. <laughs> oh, hell no. I know. <laughs> mm -mm. What was it like flying the Black Dread? You Beleriand's last rider. Only for a short time before he died. With Beleriand what? died the last memory of Valyria of old. But Vagos still lives somewhere, but too large for the Dragon Pit. Some would say too large for our world. Do you know where Vega is now? Uh, the dragon keepers believe she made home somewhere on the coast of the Narrow Sea. The workers at Spice Town report hearing her song at times. They say it's a sad thing. I imagine even dragons get lonely. She is so well spoken <laughs> for a 12 year old. Your Grace, it would be a great honor to join our houses as they were in Old Valeria. I would give you many children of pure Valerian blood so that we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Is that what your father Yeah, that sounded so rehearsed. What did your mother tell you? That I wouldn't have to bed you until I turn 14. Oh, that's God. so sad, So she's bro. not that's even so 14 gross. yet? She's... I was just, I didn't know how old she was. I thought she would at least be like... She's like 10 or 11. Uh, bro, that's two years older than no one. That's so gross. That's, what a world to live in, man. That sucks. If I was a king, I wouldn't have took that walk. I'd be like, y'all wild and y'all gonna get me on camera. <laughs> uh uh. You send me out of song. Does it not? Whatever. I mean, she's younger than her, you know? Mm -hmm. My father is a king. 
it is his duty to take a new wife and strengthen his line. I did not ask for a lesson in politics. I asked whether this bothers you. Lena is your oh. daughter, Princess. Does it bother you? Of course it does. But I understand the order of things. I'm not sure you do. Like, I'm gonna break the wheel. Whether it's to my daughter or to someone else's, your father will remarry sooner than late. His new wife will produce new heirs, and chances are better than not that one of those will be male. And when that boy comes of age and your father has passed, the men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not to you. Because that is the order of things. She just knows. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. <laughs> yeah, See, break, break the, the wheel. wheel. Oh, I wish that could be Rhaenyra. But the men of the realm already had their opportunity to appoint a ruling queen at the Great Council, and they denied it. Oh, her? <laughs> they denied you, Princess Rhaenys, the queen who never was. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Do you remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups? Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. She a little bitter, ain't she? <laughs> she mad. I mean, they didn't vote for her, so she's and like... your father is no fool. She knows what's up. All the common folk are like, at least you got on the ballot. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't never getting on the ballot. The small council is urging me to remarry. Seems the realm wants for a new queen. A good and kind queen will give comfort to your subjects. Well, they're on a date. They eat dinner. Does the small council have a particular lady in mind? Uh, I feel bad for this girl. Like, ugh. Lord Corlys Balarian has offered the hand of his daughter. A very strong match, Your Grace. I'm sure that she is good and kind, and that she will enjoy your company, as I have. Oh man. I brought you something. Conveniently. Oh, she packed I asked that the thing up. To mend it. This is a very kind gesture, Alison. Oh, she put his little heart back together. Did you see that? <laughs> very kind. She didn't want to do it, but man. <laughs> poor girl. Come. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he already knows. Your Grace, I've called the small council to an emergency session. Why? I think it best you hear it directly. Oh snap. These were like, good job. Right. Basso Jundun, Lodicio e Lot Upidas. Whoa. Darino Ross Diamond, Siki Asida, Siglives Eros. Prince Damon did it. <laughs> the prince He's still an left eggs? a missive, which I believe might explain. It is the pleasure of Damon Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone, and rightful heir to the Iron Throne to announce that he is to take a second wife in the tradition of old Valeria. She is to assume the title Lady Missaria, her grace is with child, and is to have a dragon's egg placed in the babe's cradle. The prince has invited you to his wedding, your grace. It is in two days time. Who is Lady Missaria? We believe- Damon's- <laughs> To put it bluntly. <laughs> My brother wishes to provoke me. To answer is to give him what he wants. The realm is watching, Your Grace. Weapon. Scoria Dromon, you apis. Scoria Dromon, Damon Leitas. Dromon hidrotso iles, Darilorus. Green fires. Daniloro bello, matsumbile, idrepte in conno. Oh, he stole his dead son's name? Assemble a detachment, Otto. Is that what it was? Uh, I, I will go to Dragon's Bone. Yeah, because that's the one she said she was back to face justice myself. Grace. The mom said. My apologies, Your Grace, but I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. Damon is without limit. Let me go to Dragonstone. Yeah, let's go. So he can get freaking killed? Sir Otto versus Sir Damon. <laughs> Otto doesn't look like he kills people for sport. So Damon's just a straight pest, huh? <laughs> like, jeez, bro. He's like Ramsey. <laughs> He's like Jesse from Breaking Bad. How he did his parents. <laughs> Why do you destroy yourself? Ow. Oh. When you see the king tonight. Why are you gonna know? If you wish it. I've assembled 20 of your best household guards, my lord Hand. Please look after the hands, So he's going to go to Damon's wedding? I guess they're about to go try to get that egg back, huh? <laughs> it's almost like when siblings be stealing the eggs out the Easter baskets. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta go run them down. Right. This place is sick. I know. They didn't show off this scope in Game of Thrones like they did in here. Mm-hmm. That's a long walk, though. I'm telling you what, that person better be worth the talk. <laughs> He's such a troll. Welcome to Dragonstone, Otto. Your occupation of this island is at an end. You're to relinquish the dragon's egg, disband your army, banish your... 
and leave Dragonstone by order of His Grace King Viserys. Where is the king? I don't see him. His Grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. <laughs> a mummer's farce. It's a Crispin, wasn't it? It's a Crispin Cole, my friend. <laughs> ah, yes. Apologies, I couldn't recall. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. <laughs> Are you so desperate for the king's attention that you've resorted to skulking about like a common cut purse? I'm simply keeping with the traditions of my house, the same as my brother did for his heir. Those traditions are for the true-born children of royalty, not for bastards fathered on a common... Lady Missaria is to be my wife. This is an abomination. With every breath you soil your name, your house, and your brother's reign. And what of you, men of the City Watch? Aiding the prince in his treason. The king made me their commander. They are loyal to me. They're so confused. You come for <laughs> the egg. Here it is. It's really cool, though. Are you mad? You've never survived this. Well, happily, neither would you. To choose violence here is to declare war against your king. Wonderful. Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. I'll tell you one thing. I would dismember that damn Night's nice Watch. That's the first thing I would do. <laughs> Night's one. Or the, the gold coat, whatever they're called. Yeah. <sighs> Cheap ass. Look at the saddle though. See the fucking steel. The challenger. The challenger. A wild Rhaenyra appeared. <laughs> Look how long that thing's neck is. Is that just throwing you off? Yeah, neck? like look at it. It looks like a snake. <laughs> I know. You got the long neck dragon. These ones both look different. And, uh, and the last ones, they all kind of look the same, just different sizes. And like different shades. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nearest I got a pull I guess up. there's more diversity in the gene pool. Right. What are you doing here, princess? Preventing bloodshed. Sir Kristen, please escort the princess to safety. Take care not to startle Serax, my lords. She's rather protective of me. Kepa no ha ina zed ritoro, luon zombaz mi anu kon isa. Kepus? Ia se la vose eoro, nike iti niklas. Apra ziri ziri ema. Treptan li da wor. Dromon laudi gon ao belvitas. Pipot zatru zombi maz un pilo. Sekulat. Vazilari tubi. Does she not know about this or something? He can't even finish. <laughs> I think he's just saying that to like threaten them that he's about to have a kid or something. Mm -hmm. If you wish to be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. So do it and be done with all this bother. Nice hands. Pretty good throw too, right? <laughs> <laughs> So he just took that to give it back. <laughs> and on this day, rugby was invented. <laughs> That's the traveling game. <laughs> the thing's heavy, ain't it? How do they keep it hot in there? He has burning coals on the bottom of some charcoal. Bye, y'all have to take two more minutes. I know, right? At least help his old butt down the stairs. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to walk down the stairs and she flew home. <laughs> Hey, is that the room, babe? It feels familiar because that dragon on the wall. Right. That's where. But it had like. It's the war room, right? The war, yeah. Where Stannis had a kid. <laughs> you and us, that we were to be wed? On the morrow. And that I was with child. Perhaps when we are wed, we can make that true. I ensured long ago that I would never be threatened by childbirth. Good. Children can be such irritating creatures. You swore <laughs> to protect me, Demo. Dragonstone is quite secure. Until the king decides to reclaim his ancestral seat. His men might not put the prince's head on a spike, but what would they do with the commoner he claims he's taken to wife and made with child? No one will harm you. Oh, I see. I have been sold this property more times than I care to count. Beginning in our homeland, I, I can no longer recall. You are Targaryen. You can afford to play your stupid games with the king, but I cannot. I came to you to be liberated. Liberated from what? Fear. I don't even know what to say about that because I don't really know her. He's like, oh, Allison. I have come looking for an unencumbered opinion. That's all I would ever give, Your Grace. Lena Valarian. Lord Corliss is your master of ships. 
Yeah, Master Shen. She is the eldest daughter of the wealthiest house in the realm, and she has Targaryen blood. But she's seven. What's to mislike? She is twelve. Mm. She's, she's twelve. <laughs> she's twelve, though. We I can't never do asked it. to remarry. As king, you have a claim on all things, even those you don't want. Marriage is not an obligation you can put off for long. What if I was to reject Lord Corlys' proposal? He would not be like to take it well. I fear nothing short of a direct line to the Iron Throne would satisfy him. You should also consider that we find ourselves on the precipice of war in the Stepstones, and the Sea Snake holds claim to nearly half the realm's ships. Who is he to act to me? No one, Your Grace. But Driftmark makes for a better ally than it does an enemy. Yeah, thanks. If you truly want my unencumbered opinion... I do. You should wed Lena Valarian, Your Grace. Oh, Save man, Paul that's Paulus so... And fix you know. him at your side, permanently, as an ally. The princess has returned from Dragonstone. Dragonstone? I know, who said she could go there? He's gonna be like, who gave you permission? <laughs> She's gonna be like, well, it worked, didn't it? He's gonna be like, Ugh. Until it doesn't. Grounded. Your Grace. You disobeyed me. You fled King's Landing so without no. a word. You deliberately disobeyed me. And you acted <laughs> without the crown's leave. You are my only heir. You gotta remember you could have that. You been killed. May I sit? <laughs> you went to Dragonstone. And retrieved the egg without bloodshed. A feat I'm not sure Sir Otto could have accomplished alone. Yes. Well. I sometimes forget how alike you both were. Your mother's absence is a wound that will never heal. It pleases me to hear you say this, to know that I'm not alone in my grief. I wish um, I had known better what to say to you in the aftermath. I struggled to realize that my daughter had so quickly become a woman grown, but I know she understands what is now expected of me. The king must take a new wife. She knows. I could never replace your mother, no more than I intend to replace you as heir. But you are my only heir, and our line is vulnerable, too easily ended. And by marrying again, I may begin to ensure that we are better defended. Against whom? Whomever may dare to challenge us, I do not wish to make us estranged. You are the king, and so your first duty is to the realm. Mother would have understood this, just as I do. Yeah, wait till you find out who it is, though. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying, you don't, you don't know. He's definitely not proud of this. Good morrow, my lords. I have decided to take a new wife. I intend to marry the Lady Alicent Hightower before spring's end. I was wondering why she was in there. Right. Oh, I thought that he gave like a little smile. So I thought he was going to be this Lena. Absurdity. My house. Is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm. And I am your king. Oh no. Dang, he's leaving the meeting? Yeah, he's pissed. Right, he thought it was gonna be his daughter for sure. Oh, oh she's oh. her. It's almost as if she would have preferred that. Well, she lost her mom, her best friend, probably her dad. <sighs> yeah, because why would she want to talk to them now? Ew. House Valerian's origins reach back to old Valyria, more ancient even than House Targaryen, according to some texts. But unlike the Targaryens, we were no dragon lords. For centuries, my house had to scratch out an existence from the sea. When I ascended the Driftwood throne, I knew what I wanted, so I went out and seized it. Unlike every other lord of the realm, I can say that I built my house's high seat with the strength of mine own back. I've always thought of you and I as having been made from the same cloth oh no man they're conspirating we're both men who have had to cut our own way through the world did you call me to drift mark to remind me of my low standing lord corliss or was there some other reason you've heard of the troubles in the step steps and crab feeders or whatever you want they're call really them. bugging him for sure yeah, he don't like that he hates crab. petitioning the king to send my navy into the territory. He's a shrimp kind of guy. But he's denied me. And it was never my brother's strongest trait. What? Being king. <laughs> <laughs> the crab feeder is backed by powerful entities within the free cities who wish to see Westeros weakened. Ugh. The king's failures have allowed him to accumulate strength. 
If those shipping lanes fall, my house will be crippled. I will not have Driftmark beggared while our king idles himself with feasts and balls and tourneys. I will speak of my brother as I wish. You will not. Dang, so he's really about his brother. Stones, it's a chance for you to prove your worth to any who might yet doubt it. The other realm's second son, Stamen. Second son. Our worth is not given. It must be made. So what? They need to go get him? For them? Yeah, they need to take care of crab face right here. Alright guys, so that was House of the Dragon. <clears throat> Episode 1 and 2, babe. What did you think about it? First impressions. So, not to compare it to Game of Thrones, but just first two episodes, we're going to talk about what happened. We're going to talk about the drama and the politics, which I really liked, by the way. But yeah. first impressions, what do you think? I think I like it. Like, I'm I'm wanting to see more. I want to know what happens. So that's for sure. I'm really interested. I, I like that we already know some about this world. So being able to actually, like, kind of jump into, like, kind of, kind of getting to know who the characters are instead of, like, the customs and all that stuff is nice. It's cool to see new houses that we didn't see, like the high towers, um, for example. We didn't see those in Game of Thrones, and we also didn't see um, the house of uh, Valerion. Yeah, House Valeri Valerion or Valerian. Mm -hmm. the, the one with the, the dreads, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. There's two brand new houses. So obviously they're not there in Game of Thrones. So so it's so we know something happens to them. So right. that's that. that Anytime we see something that we didn't see in Thrones, we know that something happened, so right. which which makes it interesting. So let me pull up our little trusty, rusty episode. <clears throat> I'll I like to be able to scroll through it right here. The Rogue Prince, first of all. So first of all, man, I love the intro. The intro was absolutely sick. It was really nice to get a new one. I was a little confused about what was happening. Not even gonna, not even gonna lie about we that. We just know it's like blood, and it it hits something. And I don't know what the something represents. It's like chambers moment, or right? something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what that was. Maybe that was like old Ooh, or something. While you're on this right here, the thing I like to see you guys on this is um I don't know exactly what that is, but they have those balls and like when they go into the meeting, it's like they put their ball there. Mm -hmm. I'm I don't know if that's gonna be a symbol or if it's like a tradition. I, I don't know. Yeah, they apparently got away from that tradition so maybe yeah. it's something that targaryens do right maybe it's supposed to symbolize like eggs or something or maybe like it symbolizes maybe it symbolizes like you know when you tell the truth the whole truth and nothing about the truth you're like being completely honest i don't right. know like a hand that's, on the that's what i was thinking it was like something like that who was the guy's name i forget his name but him right here yeah um lord Corlys. lord Corlys. he comes in man he's really 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 angry about the prices on crab right now uh <laughs> he thinks that there's an embargo going on and he basically wants to clean shop over there in the shipping lanes. He doesn't feel like the King's taking them very serious, which just goes to show the overall tone of our King. Right. Right. Uh, he just doesn't want to hear it. He wants to like be happy all the time. Do nothing unless you have to type right. of mentality, uh, wait on the storm to come type of mentality. He doesn't like that. He wants an ambitious go getter because he's an ambitious go getter because he's a second son. So you saw in the end of the episode, that's why he eventually goes and jumps ship quote unquote, uh, with Damon, so who who's also a second son? That's crazy. I, with yeah. a lot of ambition, yeah. so he has a completely different mindset than the king. You know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, but anyways, man, we figure out that Damon basically stole an egg. So Rhaenyra needed to go get that thing. She pulled up and she was able to capture the egg without bloodshed mm -hmm. because she and her uncle have this weird little thing. Like they speak Valyrian to each other, and they just, I think that's kind of the show's way of saying they understand each other. Maybe because they're both Targaryen. Yeah. And he sees something in her, maybe in himself, so I don't know. I don't know how much that really matters because, you know, Euron would have killed Theon for sure. So. I was thinking it was maybe his way of uh, playing the game is being close to Rhaenyra because that weakens his brother. That's just what or you I could think. be smart like Mrs. October and come up with something brilliant. But yeah, you're probably right about that. Like he obviously is really invested in trying to get the attention of his brother. Yeah. Right. He seems like he really wants to. It's like it's like a younger sibling or something like just, you know, trying to well, irritate. He's, you to get he's your disappointed. Attention. He's not the heir. Like that's very disappointing to him. Like, right. So he did all that nonsense, like taking Dragonstone, writing Ramsey letters and, you know, stuff like that. Well, yeah. And he's doing it just out of petulance. And the thing that's annoying is he doesn't have enough self-awareness to realize everything that he wants. All of his ambitions are right there. All, But in his mind, he's too wild. So, you mm -hmm. know, he made the comment about he didn't get to marry who he wanted. He wants to do it his way. He wants right. To he's so rebellious too, because yeah. his seat on the council is empty, but he's watching the council just from behind some door. So it's like. What are you doing, dude? So like, I'm starting to realize, even though the Targaryens have power, 
And even though their family's doing really good, you know, quote unquote, at the end of the day, there's still a lot of people that want to break the will Mm -hmm. from inside of the family. So there's a lot of people inside of the family who are very discontent. But that just goes to show they're in peace times, because if they were in war times, it would be a lot less important about who the king was. It'd be a lot more important about whose family was in power, because ultimately, whoever's family is in power is the one who gets to hide behind the castle. Right. And that's why it seems like they don't marry off too much, because it just makes like problems. It makes things complicated. Right. Yeah. So because the, the girl, the young girl, she obviously that's the his cousin's daughter. So that would still be in the family. You can. So just, it's weird for him not to pick her. Right. Well, you can just tell that they're in peace times here because yeah. of the decision making, you know. Yeah. Um, because in war times the decision making processes would be a lot different. So Yeah. Um She has to pick her um I don't I think it's just whoever's the guard. It's I don't know if it's hers in particular or just like her dad's or it's her dad. So uh-huh. her the King's Guard passed away in the beginning of the episode. Hopefully he went away peacefully. Um That's what it said at least. Right. And in my mind I was thinking maybe he was poisoned, maybe he was killed. You know, I just have a conspiratorial mind when it comes to Game of Thrones. Right. So, <laughs> no one know, ever dies. One Robert naturally. Baratheon died, and you guys told me he was poisoned. I was just like, "What? What?" That was I wild hate. to me. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So basically, they brought up the B team, and then Sir Chris Stone popped out and was like, "Hey, I, right. got, I got skills. I got Oberyn skills." And she said, "Okay, well, it don't. It ain't really about that, but we can pretend it is. So come on." And that's that. She likes them, right? Obviously. I mean, I, I'm getting the vibe she has a crush on him or something because she keeps like giving him googly eyes like at the thing and then here. Right. But I do think what she's saying is right, though, because Otto had all these people that were like basically just going to like strengthen the realm by giving them to ba- basically like having them represented on the King's Guard. See, I didn't see it that way. I saw it as a very childish decision because, you know, I kind or it of could agree be to with weaken, Otto. Or it could be to weaken the King's Guard by giving some some pretenders. Right. Yeah. I mean, you just can they look can at it from either way. Or, there's yeah. a lot of ways to look at it. But yeah. in my mind, you know, because I understand the free will and people like want to follow their heart and all that stuff. And I get that's important, especially in our modern day society. But when you're fighting for survival and they live in a world of conquest, is it really is it, it all comes down to relationships. So mm-hmm. every decision is an alliance based decision. So that's what that was. But Rhaenyra chose to pick someone who actually has combat skills. And I understand that logic, but what's the biggest threat to the king and it's like someone just wanting to assassinate him or someone wanting to like break the house from the inside i right. guess we have the hindsight that's, of history but that's so her naiveness that, you know what I'm that's saying? what i'm saying i feel like the best choice would have been something that would have strengthened the realm because the vibe that i'm getting from the whole show is all these decisions that the king's making rainier is making uh, outside forces all that obviously is fracturing the yeah. house you know like that's why i was saying you need a nice strong leader who people fear so that way they when you want to go whisper behind his back and make plans there's a fear that he's going to physically come like remove your head yeah from your shoulders, get your tongue you know? taken out so you never whisper again yeah. something like that yeah and it doesn't have to be necessarily with strength and muscle and in her mind she needs a king's guard with strength and muscle and there's a lot of truth to that and i understand that but at the same time you know, maybe it is about alliances. Like maybe Jamie was a King's Guard because of like alliance purposes. You well, know, yeah, like he he was he was because they wanted to weaken Tywin by taking Jamie on, so we couldn't have kids. Exactly. Yeah. So that's it's strategic, and yeah. maybe she doesn't understand that. Right. But I don't even understand it. I have no idea how it's going to play out. But I'm just pointing it out. I'm not really critiquing her. If I was in her shoes, I'd probably think the same thing. Right. I think it's just showing that this is kind of her first decision she makes. Like in her power so the show's doing a good job at drawing a divide you can either do what's good for your per like you know what's good for the personal or you can do what's good for you know the masses i guess do you get what i'm trying to say yeah. i don't really know how to articulate that but it seems like she chose personal relationships because she wanted a more personal guard someone who could physically protect in a more personal way opposed to protecting like a metaphor right but i also see i also see her side in that way because she just did lose her mom and stuff so it would be hard for her to lose her dad so i can see why she would want someone like that has the ability to handle that other than and i mean plus if you have a crush on someone you can play some by you every day there's also (laughs) i mean that's true but but that's true but all those people they're on their thing they were saying how all they did was conquer poachers which is like hey there's some tough poachers out there (laughs) yeah i know i know I'm just I'm just joking around about the flirtatious thing It's it's just good writing. I think, you know, I, I like the I like how you can at least talk about it, because if she didn't have a crush on him, it would be 
Oh, cut and dry. There you go. Yeah. But it makes it complicated. Yeah, you know? that makes. I'm just trying to explain. But the it's, characters. that makes it interesting in that way. Well, it matters because she's the heir, and I'm just trying to get in her mind what type of decisions is she making? Where's her head at? Because she's like a teenage girl. You know right. I mean? so, so her like that could be potentially something that could be a problem. If, yeah, that's yeah. all I'm saying. And I, in this scene where they are doing like the auditions, it's cool to see representations of the other houses. It's it's cool to see their their uniforms based on them. Yeah. And then obviously, man, the king went and had a little conversation with, I've said her name the whole entire show, but uh, now Allison? it's Alison. Oh, Alison. She's, it's like Crisson. Uh -huh. Alison. Oh. oh. Um, not Allison, Alison. You gotta I, get a little. I've been calling her Allison, my bad. Yeah. Um, she had a really weird conversation with the king, basically saying Rhaenyra wouldn't understand, which I think she would understand. I just think that she would think, you know, I don't really know that she would understand. I don't because the logical choice would have been that little girl. So in her she mind, she left the room. You know, I don't think she really understands. Yeah, and like I, like I was saying, I feel bad because not only did she lose her mom in a sense, right. she just lost her dad and her best friend. And the only so. person she really talked to was and and Damon's not there either. And the, she could talk to him like I guess I'm Valerian. And maybe that's why she has such a like bond with the uncle because maybe she doesn't really feel like she has anyone. Right. Well, I guess that happened before this, but who knows? Right. But um, th the thing about Alicent, Alicent. Um, that I don't understand is, you know, her dad does seem like he put that on her, but at the end of the day, she's the one bringing the mended dragon. You know what I'm saying? So she's the what? She's the one who brought that little treasure box. The dad didn't know about that. She brought that. You know. Well, what I'm she's saying? just at this point. I mean, she just is trying to get the job done. I feel like the quicker she just has the kids, the quicker she can get past that part. I guess. It's just very obvious that the show's saying that there's two little girls and they both have completely different mindsets. One's mindset is to serve the realm, even if it's disgusting and, you know, getting with this old guy right here. She doesn't want to do it, i.e. sitting there ripping her fingers apart. But she's doing it because she feels like it's her duty and it's her honor. And she's just doing what she's told. And then there's Renera who's bucking the system, talking about breaking wheels. You know, so I, I don't know. You know, I don't know how it's going to play out, but it's interesting. Right. It is you know? interesting. I really don't have an opinion about it. I don't really know who's wrong, who's right. That's the whole thing. I'm just pointing it's out. Just, the it's just two different paths that two of the like people in this world are going to take it's just going to be interesting when it plays out to know like what you should have done right because like i didn't think rob was necessarily wrong you know and some of his mistakes but in hindsight rob was kind of like the idiot of game of thrones yeah he kind of so, was yeah so yeah so basically i guess rhaenyra is at this point where she could make decisions like that so hopefully she does not yeah and then the weirdest part of the episode to me guys was uh, the little girl that was 12, when they went and had that little walk in the garden, that was just rough. That was just weird. And uh, if the show would have wed those two together, I don't think people would have really loved that. And I think that that's a big reason. Of Even why. though it was so, it would have been so powerful as an ally. That's what sucks about that. Like, it was the choice, like, you ha like he was almost having to make. Well, my question is, and I get what you're saying. I'm not trying to interrupt you, but yeah. you know me, I'm old and I've been hitting the head a lot. So... My thing is, I forget, if she's 12, but she's not going to bed him until she's 14, that feels so weird to say, then why not marry a seven-year-old? Like, <laughs> why is the age not seven? Why not six? You know what I'm saying? You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just very strange. Well, yeah, but... But it would have helped the, the allies. Right, sure. because now you obviously see that the guy is going to Damon, so it's like, obviously, that was something that really hurt him. And, you know, I like, I like that you mentioned that, babe, because... I remember a line from the show. The king said that if he decides not to marry his daughter, the king will still do his duty and provide the ships. And I think he was just trying to say he'll understand. Yeah. Like, because I'm his king, he loves me. And I think he's just naive. I think he's very naive. Yeah. And he thinks that these people love him. These people love him and right. they really don't. And that's why that's what Damon was saying. He ha they know he's weak, so they all the people on the council are conspiring in their own way. Because right. they know how weak he is and they can prey on him. So he's right in a sense. Like right. Damon's an interesting character. I do like him. I know I'm hating on him a lot, but that's just he, because he I'm trying to He is interesting because we don't really know is he like good or bad, so to say, at the right. moment. Like I definitely think he's bad. He's someone that the thing about morally gray characters is morally gray characters don't like you're either kind of good or you're not. But when you're morally gray, you're just an agent of whatever circumstance might be. Right. So Damon's so morally gray. So if he gets in power, then. A lot of corruption and bad stuff happens. He's going to be corrupt and bad because he's morally gray. 
I don't really love morally gray. Right. Like, make the right decision. Well, it's you know? weird, It's weird though, because, you know, th- he's kind of one of those that's like, I'm going to rule by fear in a way. Right. But, in a, but he could rule by fear ultimately by just pulling a dragon out, and you don't see that here. You see him using it with his little city watch and, like, attacking. So, I don't really, that's what I'm saying. I don't know too, like... I feel I felt like the Targaryens were going to lead a lot by the dragon fire, but they're actually not doing that that much. They just ride them. <laughs> well, I guess that's the thing about having nuclear bombs. Uh, you know, they've no all been dropped to bust twice. The codes out. So <laughs> no one to bust the codes out. Well, it's called nuclear deterrence, right? If everyone yeah. has nuclear bombs, you just don't use them. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things because that's what happened with her, with him and Ramira. Like he said, just rid rid yourself of me. Throw me off the bridge. But there's new, there's you know, mutually assured destruction because if you harm me, my dragon's gonna rip you apart. And you right. might have a dragon that can try to stop you, but we're both gonna die in the dragon fire, basically. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of those things, and I, I really like that. It's almost like they understand each other because they have to. But at the same time, they're not the only Targaryens with dragons. So right, I don't know. Maybe it's just because inside they're dragons. Maybe all Targaryens don't really have the dragon inside kind of like Viserys you yeah. know maybe he's just but no he said he used to ride that big old dragon but he doesn't anymore obviously so it seems like it seems like I don't know what he rode the dragon just with a seatbelt <laughs> well it's like but at the end of the day he kind of is saying that dragons are dangerous so he's like kind of against he's like not pro dragon very much well he understands that he understands that they're nuclear bombs you know nuclear bombs I, well, nuclear bombs are terrible. They're a net negative on the world. There's no positive way that you can. But spend he's also bombs. weak. But he understand, yeah. But he understands that they're good only because we control them. And if we decide to be good, then they're good. But he just understands they're just agents, kind of like Damon. They're morally gray. I should right. say. Dragons are just morally gray. <laughs> There's a lot of morally gray. Going a lot of morally on. gray. Um, so that's really interesting, man. Uh, for sure. And I like Damon's character. I really do like his character. I'm just hating on him because so far, I don't really know who to root for. And Damon just comes across so sleazy and the show's making it very obvious. Hate on this guy. But usually the shows do that because they want to trick you and turn it around kind of like they did Jamie. That's basically it, man. So that was the plot. So now we just got to talk about it and what it means and what we think going forward. So... Yeah. So, what do you think this let's, means going forward, babe? Let's just go right here. So, I don't have to read those names to be distracted. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to get my groove because this was a whole new show. I'm not really right. sure like who the people are, what to talk about, what's going to happen. Um, yeah. I mean, I totally get you on that because it it is new to us. But I just I just think overall this show is I, I'm liking the politi- the politics behind it. I I like that they're all kind of related to. So it's interesting how they're turning on each other's like. So behind the scenes, so to say. Yeah. It seems like they just need to have more kids. They need to have more options up in here. They just don't have enough right. kids. Like, why right. are you only having one kid for? And and the mom seemed to have a lot of issues having the kids. So maybe that's like a, well, yeah, a common she, struggle. She had health issues. But like even like all the ancestors before, when they were talking about, oh, well, this person, like they only had two kids. Right. Succession was like, hard. Man, you need but, to have like 10 kids. What right. are you doing? But I mean, may, like I said, maybe it was really hard and medicine was tough or something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it was definitely harder to uh, give birth back then. Right. But people had more kids back then. So, and that's just reality. So. Yeah. Because that was like their main goal when they got married to immediately have kids. Well, you when know? you didn't have birth control. So yeah. It was just one of those things. And also back in the day, like your family actually had to take care of you. Kids actually were an investment that would take care of you in your old age. Right. Now you just send your parents off to a retirement home. <laughs> um. Yeah, I just thought the episode was really good, man. It's one of those things that it's going to be a highly opinionated season, man, because it's just a highly opinionated political show. And I really like it. I love the politics of it. And like always, I think with Game of Thrones, me personally, I just wonder what was best for the round. Yeah. I didn't really root for someone to be. It doesn't look like anything's really like in the realm wise other than the the crab guy. There's not really much else bad, right? I mean, they got. Well, I didn't new- see it that way. I think the Targaryens are rotten to the core. Like, I just I look at them as. A, well, other I don't than really Damon slicing as- everyone up, the I, what I saw was I saw like because I was paying attention. I saw a bunch of like of like people selling stuff. I saw like it looked so to say prosperous more so than I saw like those areas in Game of Thrones. In my opinion, it just yeah. looked that way. I mean, I could be wrong. I could have just like. I could be wrong, but it, it looked more populating Game of Thrones, but it looked more prosperous in 
House well, of the Dragon. Well, I think a lot of that has to do with King Viserys. I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm going to be highly opinionated, and sorry for my ignorance. I just don't know because I haven't seen it. But I, I, I don't know. I didn't really get that vibe. I thought King Viserys was just a nice person, and he's like, look at all this prosperity I'm providing. Look at all this happiness I'm providing. And I think that every other Targaryen looked at it as foolish and stupid and weak. So well, I don't really well, think yeah, that that fits be. Targaryen rule. I think that Viserys is just an outlier. I mean, but I could, I could be. be wrong. Well, I mean, we have to watch more. I mean, that's my just prediction, like first, first impressions. My prediction is, well, in Game of Thrones, the king changed like how many times? A lot. Like four to six. So hopefully the king will change in this. My prediction is it probably will because that guy's like sickly. He's too sick to like heal up and stuff. So he'll probably end up dying eventually. My prediction is when he's off the throne, it's going to go to hell. You think so? Yeah, that's my prediction. And I think that it's going to show you basically what Targaryens do when they're in power. But but I guess all families do that. I mean, the Lannisters done that. I guess power just breeds corruption. What can you do? Right. It was interesting to see that dragon egg because I was saying at the beginning, it was cool to see full grown dragons where we don't have to see them like go through their infant stages. But I guess when you have babies in this time, you have a dragon egg with it or something. I think, in the Targaryen world? Going back to what you were just saying, babe, I think you were right. I think what you are saying was more accurate because not only that, they're planning on, like, expanding the city and they're building things and there's, like, a future. Yeah. So maybe you're right. But like I said, we're just going to have to see. I'm just a highly skeptical of Targaryens, basically. Oh, well, well, yeah. I mean, as you have the right to be. I mean, yeah, we saw what happened. <laughs> but, but, no, I was just saying how I thought the dragon eggs were interesting because it seems like... You know, Daenerys acquired those three stone ones or whatever. But in this, they put them in cradles with you, mm -hmm. which is weird. I don't I don't know why they do that. Did they not tell us that in House of or Game of Thrones? <laughs> I feel like or some, in the lore or something? I feel like in a lore, they said something because I feel like, like that. I knew that. Yeah, but I, I was wondering why um, if he did, if the baby died, why wouldn't his dragon egg go with him? Like, why would it just be sitting there? You know what I'm saying? go with who the, the baby the baby got burnt like the baby that was dead got burnt and they didn't like the guy the uncle stole the dragon egg that was belonged to that so why wouldn't they just burn it too because dragons are like nuclear weapons you can't just burn them you got to keep them they're valuable i know but like if if the i guess that's a lore video we'll have to see what are you asking are you saying that they should have just burnt the dragon egg along with the baby well, because cause it, yeah because i thought like they were like a connection by putting it in the cradle or something well the uh, baby didn't live yeah, but so why waste a dragon egg? If the baby would have lived, then they would have put the dragon gets egg in the, the cradle. Then who the dragon egg? The next, the next baby to be born. Oh, dragon eggs. I think dragon eggs only, and I could be totally making this up. Maybe this is just me connecting the dots. But it seems like dragon eggs only hatch like when their riders are ready. Uh, like they're so they like they like connect with like them on a, on a deeper level, right. like magic or something. Right. Okay, well, so like that's my confusion with just like not really understanding the eggs that like, much. You put the egg in the crib, the baby bonds with the egg, gets comfort from the egg, and then as the baby grows, when it's time, the dragon hatches, and the baby and the dragon uh, grow together yeah. until the dragon's old enough to fly. And so the that's how they can like tell each ride. other what to do. Or I'm, whatever. I'm making it up, guys. I'm I'm totally probably missing the boat, but if I was writing it, that's what I would have done. Right. Well, I just thought when he stole the egg, that was a slap in the face, first of all, because it was the the heir for a day or whatever's. But it was also the person who was supposed to replace him as successor, but instead it was Rhaenyra, which I, I don't know. The thing about ruling to me <clears> that gets <throat> on my nerves about the show, though, is everyone's so bitter because they can't be the king or the queen or something, but the whole idea is that is kind of a burden yeah imagine being eight years old trying to play knowing that the fate of the world is going to rest on your shoulders it's not like it's a privilege right it's not something that we should all aspire for it's a burden it's right. something that's like a curse remember daenerys and essos when she's sitting there on the throne and all these people are coming up to her with their problems and they had she had like 200 a day to shuffle through like there's nothing fun about that <laughs> and worrying about war 24 7 or having to knowing that like your chances of surviving until the age of 18 are like five percent because it's somewhere along the line you're gonna have to get in a fight with the sword or every drink that that you were about to drink could potentially be poison like you just never know in that world you you're basically like i'm just saying 50, i don't think life <laughs> i don't i don't get why everyone wants to be the king so bad i guess I don't, power that's 100 percent what it has to be you just yeah. want the power I, you know and i can understand that to an extent but it's hard to understand like full i guess in reality our reality full power would be to be like the conqueror of the world right mm -hmm. like who would want that you know
that's a lot of crap to worry about right i don't know i feel like if i'm in that family if i'm not in line to be king i'm i'm, I'm chilling it seems like damon is rich beyond his dreams he gets to brothel out every weekend he's living the good life i guess so i don't really know why he's so ambitious and he has a wife already they said down. yeah they said he has a wife that's uglier than a sheep or something i think what i do need to do is write down the names of these dragons because i'm not going to remember them the things. dragons are tough i right. remember like like Clorax or Clorox. Yeah, like Clorox. <laughs> Clorox the clean dragon. Yeah. Um, but no, those are going to be something that I'm going to have to remember. And the names are going to be tough. I mean, Otto, Allison, you know, that's all. That's all. Yeah. Tough Otto, stuff. Allison, Renera, Viserys, Damon. Damon. Um, Who's the master of shit? Rainus. Cor Rainus is that lady. Who's is it? Coralus or Coralus? Cor Coralus. Or Coralus. A and the daughter's name's Elena. Their daughter. Your little girl's like Yeah, Lena. And then I know they talked to someone named like Sir Sir like someone was named Strong somewhere. But we know Kristen Cole. Mm -hmm. And geez. I mean there's I there's a lot I have to remember, guys. I don't I'm, I think for the most part we're doing all right with the names. There's probably a lot of faces we forgot, but we'll we'll get better with them. I really tried to do my best to try to remember the names. Yeah, me too. I, was I went really like hard. six episodes without knowing their names in Game of Thrones. So I definitely And this tried is to do like there's less content here, so we have to remember these like early on. Right. So we can like not be worried about who that person was and worried about what's going on. <laughs> right. So man, uh I'm just gonna give my predictions. All right, give them up. So my prediction is I think they'll conspire to overthrow the king. Maybe he'll die from sickness. And I don't know, man. Somebody's got to be king. I don't I don't remember if Cersei was the first queen in Game of Thrones or not. If I knew that piece of information off the top of my head, like then we, I would be able to make another prediction. But if she was the first queen, then obviously what's her name is not going to be queen. Right. Well, we do know from Shireen that it was like the, like we know it was a civil war here. But I, the thing is, I don't know who it would be against Viserys and Daemon is my opinion. Like that's who I got. And the civil war was called... The dance. The dance of the dragons. The dance right? of the dragons. That's from history and lore. No, that's Shireen saying that. Shireen yeah, Baratheon. Shireen. But it is from history and lore too, yeah. But Shireen. I I remember that but I remember lore. Shireen Baratheon saying that to Davos. Right. Uh, or no, Stannis. She said it to Stannis. I really like the I just like the lore, man. I really like the backstory. I love the whole Targaryens need to sit on the throne, the visions, uh, the reasoning for the conquer. All that stuff, man, I really, really, really like that. I'm hoping we learn a lot more of that mm -hmm. stuff as the series goes on. I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, this is going to be a very, very fun season. And guys, if you guys think that we're hitting the nail on the head, if you think I couldn't be more off, uh, <laughs> love it, hate it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let us know in the comment section. We're known for our wrong theories, and that's okay. And I'm known for pissing you guys off. Okay? <laughs> because sometimes I just don't really have a filter. So, uh, all right, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.